Today I'm out in Moab, Utah at the UMTRA site. That's the Uranium Mill Tailings Remedial Action Site. Now back behind me, there used to be a uranium mill here that would process all the uranium ore from the area. But that uranium mill has been long gone now since the 80s. And now all that's left is the uranium mill tailings. Uranium mill tailings are the leftovers of processing uranium ore. And so when they processed all that uranium ore, they removed about 90% of the uranium from the uranium ore. And what's left over back behind me is about 10% uranium and a bunch of radium as well. And so this makes this ground fairly radioactive. And so from the fence, I'm getting around 0.6 microsieverts of exposure. And normal background radiation is around 0.08 to 0.1 microsieverts per hour. And that's also a little over 200 counts per minute, which is usually the unit I use to measure everything. So the Department of Energy, the DOE, has been cleaning up this site. And so what they do is they take all this heavy machinery and load up these train cars, put all this material on a train and move it to Crescent Junction where they have an engineered cell that's there to contain all of this material. So then they can clean up this site and return it to public use because right now it's too contaminated for anyone to do anything with it. The other thing is too, is that this site is right up against the Colorado River. So for decades and decades and decades, this site was contaminating the Colorado River. But that isn't as bad as it sounds because the Colorado River runs through a bunch of uranium deposits. So it picks up natural deposits of uranium and radium and all this other stuff and it mixes it in with the water. So it's not like this site was contaminating all of the Colorado River. It just happened to add a little more contamination than people would have wanted to. What's also in here is not just tailings, but also junk from the mines and the uranium mill. So there's like scrap metal and all kinds of other stuff in there that's all radioactive. It's all been contaminated by the uranium mill tailings. Now this is a project that started back in 2007, and its goal is to move 12 million tons of uranium mill tailings. So everything beyond this fence is mill tailings down in this area here. And it's all radioactive, and I'm sure a lot of people don't realize that this area even exists right outside of Moab. So if you ever visited uh, the Moab city from Arches or Canyonlands and drove past this site, you uh, were exposed to a little bit extra radiation. So this used to be the site of the old Atlas uranium mining mill. And what this area would do is actually process all the uranium ore in the area and separate out the uranium from the ore. And so what's down in here is mainly radium and uh, some other isotopes. Like there's also still uranium left over because they weren't able to extract it all out of the ore. So there's still uranium and radium down in this area that these workers are putting in the piles, they're putting on the boxcars. But the idea is, is to return this area to public use, maybe turn it into campgrounds or something like that. So I'm really curious to see if they're actually able to do that, if they're actually able to kick down the radiation enough to make this area safe for people to camp in and to hang out in. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but it's a cool area. So if you find yourself in the Moab area to visit uh, Canelands National Park or Arches National Park, you can always stop by here if you have a Geiger counter and kind of listen to it. Uh, click away a little more uh, frequently than uh, normal. Uh, it's There's no danger to anyone. This site is all the really dangerous stuff, or dangerous stuff, like all the uranium mill tailings, is down there being worked on. And so back here at the fence, you're totally safe. As you can see, this fence isn't electrified. It's actually impossible to be electrified because the electricity would just go right down into the ground. They need to have insulators on these posts here to keep the electricity from just going, terminating right into the ground. But I think this sign is here just to keep people from stealing these signs, which I'm sure is a pretty good deterrent for people that don't know much about electric fences. I don't know, maybe they think the fence becomes electrified because of all these electrical wires overhead. I mean, you could hear power going through them so maybe that just kind of sells the illusion uh, better to people but anyway that was a look at the umtra umtra area here the uranium mill tailings remedial action project 
And I hopefully you enjoyed this quick little look at this area and now you know something that if you visit Canyonlands or Arches and you happen to go into Moab, you're gonna pass right by a radioactive site. So you can always uh, stop by and look around on the outside of the fence. I don't think they offer tours uh, inside of this area. It would be kind of cool if I could uh, work something out, but you never know. Um, sometimes they just don't want to share what's going on, and uh, sometimes they do. I think it would be uh, kind of fun to go there and talk to some of the workers and to see you know, what type of exposure they're dealing with working uh, you know, taking all of these uranium mill tailings and boxing them up and then putting them on that train. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Maybe head over to Patreon, become a member over there. That would greatly help out the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.